as a whole. Um, yeah, I thought it was two good teams um, fighting for for uh, to get to the next round. So I mean, anytime you play playoff hockey, you're gonna get uh, get a team's best. So I think it was just a good compete all around and a good team effort to get the win. Talk about the third period because you saw an awful lot of rubber in the third. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't think they had too much until until they got that goal, and then they definitely started to get a push. So I think that happens a little bit when uh, when the team's down and they're, they're trying to trying to tie it up. So I think that's just what I saw. Um, you reach your shutout mark number 10 now of the season. Um, does award, it's become an award season here. The Richter's coming up, the Hopi's coming up. Does any of that ever get to you here in the playoffs here? No, I'm just, what I just want to do is good for my team. And, and tonight, I mean, I couldn't let up one because it was 0 0 all game. So, I mean, I just do everything I can to help the team out, and they do the same. Uh, talk about your feeling once you guys got a goal. Did you feel at all like, okay, I can kind of breathe a little bit now? or? Um, yeah, it's definitely um, nice to see your team going first. You know, you got the lead. Um, not really, you can't really sit back, but it's just nice knowing that you got that goal up, up there on the board. How hard was it as a locker room to transition from such a heart wrenching loss last weekend to finally being able to take one up and put it behind you? Um, I think we handled it well. Obviously, we were disappointed on the bus and, and the ride home, but I think. Uh, had a day uh, Sunday to digest, and then we came to the rink Monday and just kind of flushed it out, and, and we were focused on St. Thomas this week. All right, thank you. Thanks, Blake.